It's a struggle to survive out here in the wild, and nowhere is more unforgiving than the ruthless terrains of the business management world. Follow me carefully. I've just stumbled upon a breed of owner-manager native to these parts. The artisan. As the alpha, the artisan should be focused on getting his designers out of danger, away from the oncoming floods of client work. However, he seems more concerned with winning the confidence of the pack. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, man. I'm easy. I'm easy. Um, whatever you can get done. It's notoriously difficult to separate the artisan from the rest of his cohorts, as it's actually very rare to capture a glimpse of his managing skills in action. Our camera crew were camped here for three weeks before they eventually captured this fleeting moment by the kitchen sink. Oh, um, Sarah, do you mind taking that call to John? I'm just off to lunch. Without strong leadership, the others flounder helplessly as the tides of commissioned work weighed in. Because the artisan has not yet learned the skills he needs to survive, the growth of his business is uncertain, and it is likely to perish. But just because you have the skills, doesn't mean you're out of danger. Here, we have one of the most common species of owner-manager, the hero. After many years honing her skills out in the arduous and relentless plains of the manufacturing industry, the hero knows a thing or two about what it takes to survive. In order for her business to flourish, however, she must now pass her knowledge on to her cubs. But not everyone is a natural-born teacher. So if we could get the crucial 17th step down, the remaining 21.5 are a doddle. She has to act fast. With every day that goes by, she loses precious clients that help sustain the workforce throughout the harsh winters. But with few resources and time running out, this is a critical point in her managerial life. It's important the hero treads carefully or she may well suffer the same fate as our next breed of owner-manager. With so little actual work being completed, it's difficult to imagine a business surviving here at all. But against all odds, tucked away behind the manager's office door, the meddler frantically maintains his business, reformatting Toby's already perfectly serviceable spreadsheets. Bless you, Toby, you do try. While the meddler is surrounded by a pack of strong and skillful workers, they must first earn the trust of their leader, which proves a formidable task. With such little confidence in his team, the meddler attempts to defend the business alone, leaving his colleagues abandoned and totally in the dark. Inevitably, starved of intellectual challenge, the meddler forces many members of his pack to leave in search of nourishment. However, some not only survive, but flourish in these burdensome conditions. Here, we witness the rare and elusive strategist, the business world's most agile predator. A strong leader with a pack of highly skilled cohorts, the strategist is able to leave them to tackle the smaller adversaries, ensuring she can focus on guaranteeing bounties of plentiful for years to come. Though now highly adept, incredibly, the strategist was once too like her owner-manager cousins, demonstrating the acute adaptability Sorry. Of uh, life. Excuse me, what is this? You don't have permission to film here. The strategist attempts to signal a warning. She will defend her business at all costs. Uh, do I look like I'm joking? Get out! Chloe, call security. All right, Dan, forget it, forget it, forget it. Mike, the driver, the driver. 